Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wednesday, the 20th of July, 2022, of the 16th week in Ordinary Time, is the optional memorial of St. Apollinaris, Bishop and Martyr. Grant unto me above all things to be desired, that I may rest in thee, and that my heart may be at peace in thee. Thou art the true peace of the heart. Thou art its only rest. Out of thee all things are hard and restless. In this peace, in the self-same, that is, in thee, the one sovereign eternal good, I will sleep and take my rest. Amen. Daily Prayer Lord Jesus, faith in your word is the way to wisdom and to ponder your divine plan is to grow in the truth. Open my eyes to your deeds and my ears to the sound of your call, that I may understand your will for my life and live according to it. Amen. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word since ancient times, Apollinaris had been venerated as the founder of the Church of Ravenna, Italy, and its first bishop. Tradition holds that the native of Antioch in Syria suffered numerous tortures over many years to bring the gospel to the people of this region. He was martyred sometime in the first or second century. His relics were enshrined in the church of St. Apollinaris in Classe, at the site of the ancient seaport. That church still bears exquisite 6th century mosaics in honor of the martyred bishop, an extraordinary synthesis of faith and beauty that communicates the eternal truth of the gospel whose radiant center is the crucified and risen Christ, says St. John Paul II. The Epistle A prophet to the nations I appoint you. A reading from the beginning of the book of the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 1, verse 1. The words of Jeremiah, son of Hilkiah, of a priestly family, and Anathoth, in the land of Benjamin. The word of the Lord came to me thus, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I dedicated you. A prophet to the nations, I appointed you. Ah! Lord God, I said, I know not how to speak, I am too young. But the Lord answered me, Say not, I am too young. To whomever I send you, you shall go. Whatever I command you, you shall speak. Have no fear before them, because I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Then the Lord extended his hand and touched my mouth, saying, See, I place my words in your mouth. This day I set you over nations and over kingdoms to root up and to tear down, to destroy and to demolish, to build and to plant. The Word of the Lord Thanks be to God. Psalm 71 
responsorial, I will sing of your salvation. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. I will sing of your salvation. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. O oh my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. I will sing of your salvation. For you are my hope, O Lord, my trust, O God, from my youth. On you I depend from birth, from my mother's womb, you are my strength. I will sing of your salvation. My mouth shall declare your justice day by day, your salvation. O God, you have taught me from my youth. Until the present, I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will sing of your salvation. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The seed is the word of God. Christ is the sower. All who come to him will live forever. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel The seed produced grain a hundredfold. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 13 verse 1. On that day Jesus went out of the house and sat down by the sea. Such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat down and the whole crowd stood along the shore. And he spoke to them in length in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, the birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground, where it had little soil. It sprang up at once because the soil was not deep, and when the sun rose, it was scorched, and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it. But some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit a hundred or sixty or thirty-fold. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation A sower went out to sow. Matthew chapter 13 verse 3 it can be easy to skip over this sentence since it is at the beginning of Jesus' parable. But in these few simple words, Jesus gives us a glimpse of his Father as a God who sows generously. Let's take a few moments to let that truth sink in. Imagine the eager anticipation of a farmer who is about to plant his crop. He has chosen the land. He has tilled and prepared the soil. He has selected his seeds. He has planned how he will care for the field throughout the planting and growing season so that the land produces a good yield. And so, with the seeds in hand, the sower goes out to sow. Our Heavenly Father is like this farmer. He has carefully chosen us and laid out his plans for us even before we were born. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5 
Now, when he looks at us, he eagerly anticipates the work he will do in our lives and the fruit that we will bear. God is well aware of the hard paths, the rocky ground, or the thorns that are in our hearts. He knows the distractions, the shallowness, and the worries we face. But even when the soil of our hearts seem unwelcoming, God still sows the seed of His Word. He is confident that our hearts can become more fertile. During difficult times, as we call out to Him and do our best to say yes to Him, those life circumstances till the soil and help make us more fruitful. God has an unlimited supply of different types of seeds to sow into our hearts. One day it might be a word from the day's mass readings or meditation. Another day it might be something a friend or family member says to us. He knows the best time to plant these seeds and just when we will be receptive to them so that they can take root in us. And the fruit that might come from God's planting? One day you will find love growing for a family member you struggled to tolerate. Or you find yourself more prayerful and peaceful when you used to worry. Or you talk with a suffering neighbor and bring comfort and hope to them. All because God, the sower, went out to sow. Father, I offer you my heart. May your word bear rich fruit in my life. Amen. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May his peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or if you know like-minded people like yourself that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.